So let's continue on making modifications to our readme file within our git demo repository. So again, I'll verify where I'm at. So pwd shows that I'm in our git demo repository folder. And if I do a git status, you can see that I have a clean working directory. So I want to add some more text to our readme file. So now I'm going to fire up TextMate, specifying the readme file. Press enter. So now our readme file is open and ready for editing. So now I'm going to hit return a couple times, and maybe we'll do a second level heading. So that would be two hashes. And for this heading, I'll just tell people we're using some ipsum. So some ipsum below, and then I stole some text off of the hipster ipsum website. So now I'm just going to paste that in. It really doesn't matter. You can just type in whatever you want here. It's just text. So now I'm going to save this file. Now I'm going to close, and we're back to the command line. So if I do a git status, you can see that now git sees that we have a modified file. This is how git status tells you that it sees a non-staged file out there that it is tracking. So any files you've added to git, git will be tracking until they're removed from git. So git can see that we have modified the previous file of the readme.md. Now I need to move through the same process I did before. So I'm going to use the git add command. And this sounds counterintuitive that you would add a file that already exists, but the way I like to look at it is that we're adding the new changes into the staging area. So git add, and then readme.md. If I do git status again, it sees that our modified file is in the to be committed state, which is git status's way of saying it's being staged. And to continue forward, we need to commit our change. So we can type git commit. And again, I'm going to do the dash M to do my inline commit message to so adding some ipsum. Let me clear to get some space. So now if I do a git status, we're back to a clean working directory. So I'm going to go through the process one last time, but this time I want to show a shortcut along the way. So I'm going to edit the file again, go to the end, and I'm going to paste in even some more ipsum. I'm going to save and now close. So now that I'm back to the terminal, if I do git status, you do have an option to take a shortcut if you have modified files. That is a file that git is already tracking. You can simply add and commit in one step. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go directly to the git commit command. So git commit and I'm going to specify a dash a that's going to add my modified file to the staging area and then commit immediately after that. I'm then also going to put my M switch in there so that I can do my commit message. And in quotes, I'm going to say adding more ipsum. And it just added and committed in one step. And so now if I do a git status, you can see I'm back to a clean working directory.